WKBN spent the day today examining, looking into the heroin crisis. We talked with addicts, police, counselors, judges, even Ohio's lieutenant governor. Our discussion of the heroin crisis culminated with a town hall meeting this evening in Mineral Ridge High School. 27 investigates heroin crisis, national problem, local solutions. It's our top story at 11. The panel was seated on the Mineral Ridge High School stage. First News anchors Mandy Knoll and Dave Sess were in place, and the audience of 100 people, along with TV viewers at home, joined a frank discussion on the heroin crisis. It's something that, you know, you're not happy to do, but it is something that you need to shine the spotlight on. Among those who agreed to be part of the nine-person panel was Ohio Lieutenant Governor Mary Taylor. I do feel like we're making progress, though, because there were 81 million fewer opiates prescribed last year. Once the show started, the discussion focused on not only heroin, but beyond. Now it is rare that we're buying heroin. It's just straight up fentanyl or even car fentanyl. Also brought up were the children of drug addicts, how children's services keeps them while mom, dad, or both are going through drug court. And then at the end of the process, after they've create, um, completed a year to year and a half of drug screens, um, sober living, getting their lives back in order, then Children's Services will give the kids back. Tim Deemer was the lone addict on the panel. As an addict, you carry a lot of guilt and shame. Um, and you feel like, you know, no, no one's going to forgive me. It's hard to love people when you don't love yourself. When it came to solutions, Gloria McCauley of the Mercer County Coalition for Drug Awareness had a suggestion, one some parents might not consider. If you have to drug test your child, do it. If you have to snoop through their room and look through, you know, under the mattress, check things out. Well, Mandy, you were there all night, heard the entire discussion. Was there any one thing that stood out? Yes, I think the main takeaway is that it's not just in downtown areas. Every single person on that panel said it's already in our communities. It's already in your neighborhood. It's, it's already here, and it's going to take the entire community, not just law enforcement or lawmakers or a news station or you or me. Right. It's going to take everyone, you at home, us as a community, to fight the heroin epidemic. All right. Thanks, Mandy.